so you immediately, like within a half a second, maybe even hold it in the same hand, the half a second of air that gets there yeah. is the problem. So you just right, chug it and then immediately. How was it? How did it compare to the last time? Well, last time I almost threw up. Um, this time not as bad. This helped. Right. The aftertaste is in my mouth. The aftertaste is unpleasant. Right. Mm. So that's I so I could do that on a regular basis. It just wouldn't be something that I look forward to. Right. Okay. Well we'll work on that. <laughs> so we took the glucose an hour before and then the ketones a half an hour before and we're about five minutes out before starting the workout. And how do you what do you feel? Uh, I feel good. The camera's very close. I feel good. I feel like I have a lot of energy right now. Um, yeah, you, you look like it. <laughs> do I? <laughs> no, no. Like, well. <laughs> no, I feel good. I feel like I have a lot of energy and I'm, I'm ready to do this. All right. How's it feel so far? Uh, so it's kind of a kind of difficult to explain, put it in words what I'm feeling right now. I, I don't feel like... I still feel like the energy is very high. It feels very smooth is the, the best way to describe it. So not a jittery coffee? Energy. No, not jittery at all. Um, okay. This feels like what I can, what I would normally have done before is it, it, it feels easier, but not because I'm necessarily stronger, but <laughs> that's what- Recovery? Uh, Speed of recovery? No, I, 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 like you're fresher? Every rep is fresher? It just feels like the strength is, like it's, the best way I can describe this is the strength is just there. Okay. I'm not fading. So that was your fifth rep? Yes, fifth set. And what did you do? You added weight? Um, so normally I do that with 245 pounds, I did it with 275 pounds. And it wasn't because, um, Last week I couldn't have done it with 275, but I will base the rate at which I increase the weights on how I feel, because I'm older now, I have to be careful. And today I just felt like um, that was the appropriate weight. So it's an output. 10% higher on the last, with the same well, number of reps. Yeah, same number of reps, so whatever the difference is in percentage between 245 and 275. Right, and okay. It felt similar, so I'm doing, doing more. Than I normally would. You said you wanted to add a disclaimer. Yeah, so the disclaimer is that when I normally work out, I'm not maxing out. Right, so the, when you compare what I would do normally to what we did today, it's not that I was doing to max, and now all of a sudden my max was more because I don't, like I said, I'm getting older and I don't want to hurt myself. So I usually lift to more of an effort-based level. Like 80%, like a certain yeah, threshold? Yeah, about 80%. Okay. So, Today, where I felt 80% was, was the weights that I did, which is higher. Yeah. But I, I, I just say that because I think it'd be harder to measure than to say, do your max weight and see what the difference is. Right. Um, I don't I don't know if that would have made a difference. But as okay. far as my ability to re keep my strength level at a certain level and continue to repeat it, that's where I felt that I was better. Okay. How's it feel this far? Good. So, uh, <sighs> sorry, hold on, breath. Yeah. When I was doing the bench, normally I start to feel fatigue around nine, up nine, ten. Out of twelve, yeah. Out of twelve, eleven, and I might have to pause for a second, take a breath, and then squeeze out the remainders. But today, I just want to rip right through them. That was rep number three. Set number three. So yeah. last week, I did. 135, first set for 12. 155, second set for 12. 165, third set for 10. And then 165, fourth set for 8. Today I did 135 for 10. One, excuse me, 135 for 12. 155 for 12. I did 165 for 12. Which is two more than last week. After doing more weight on the deadlift before that. So already the numbers are are better. Okay. Let's sum up your second attempt using a ketone ester for your lifting routine. Did it help any? Yes. So in short, 
it was a great workout. I looked at the um, the numbers of what I did last week compared to this week, and on deadlift, um, it was about a 10% increase in weight lifted, and on bench press, I was doing about 20% more reps with the same weight as last week. So that's you know that's that's a pretty significant increase. I mean, some people can work out for you know months to try to get that type of improvement, and that was just you know one application. So let's talk, very, talk also about the drawback. You said. Yeah, so the, the one thing that I've noticed each time that I've done this is, and I can't explain why, but I just know that I feel it, is now I feel like I want to take a nap. That's the best way to explain it. Like all energy being exerted out of you? Yeah, I mean, I'm out. not exhausted. I mean, if you were to ask me, hey, do you want to go for a run? Yeah, sure, I, mean, I could do that. But the way I feel right now is I feel a little sleepy. I feel a little sleepy, sort of like I had a I had a peak, and I had a lot of energy, and I burned through it, and now my body says, okay, now I'm tired, and it's, it's time to take a nap. All right, so any other final comments? No, I mean, if, so if this were something where you could repeat this type of performance, that this isn't a fluke, um, that there isn't something else to explain this, and that every time I were to consume this stuff that I would have similar results, then yeah. If, um, would it make would, you stronger after a couple months? Absolutely. I mean, you're, you're, you're lifting more weights and you're doing it more frequently, and assuming that your body can recover, yeah, absolutely.